Right, what we're doing is removing the lights, we're going to move all the cosmetic crap off the front, get the grill out, get the bonnet off. Um, today is D Day for the engine, it's coming out. Um, so, yeah, lights, grill, radiator, bonnet, um, bumper, and then it's going to be exhaust, fuel lines, electronics prop shafts and then uh, start pulling her so here it goes right bumper lights and whatnot are off just going to remove this grill now um a couple bolts up in there one down there and one there um same on the other side horns in the way just for this one though um a little bit over engineered for my liking two bolts would have been fine it's only a piece of plastic so, uh, so the next job is to remove the fuel lines, um, disconnect the air intake, disconnect the exhaust and heat of lines and prop shafts and gear linkages and then we'll be away. Right, can't remember when the last update was so I'm failing again. Air intake is off, um, all wires are disconnected, all pipes disconnected, just got the exhaust to do. Boost pipe, radiators out, fuel lines disconnected, throttle cables disconnected. Uh, I've moved into the cabin now, seat bases are out. Uh, I've disconnected the ground. Actually, I couldn't disconnect the ground, I couldn't undo it, so I was gonna. So I just pulled the wire through and I'll do it when it's out. Uh, I've disconnected the speedo cable, I'm in the process of doing the handbrake cable, and then I've got the prop shafts to do, and. What else? Oh, I'm do also in the process of doing the gear link gear box cables. I've just disconnected this one and got to investigate the main box. Um, right, bloody hell, Darren's been on the job two minutes, grinders out already. Christ's sake, man. Right, everything is disconnected now. Um, the exhaust is all disconnected, handbrake cable, slave cylinder, props, engine mounts are undone. Floor what panels the? are now out. Floor panels are now out, <laughs> thanks to assistance. Um, like I said, two minutes on the job, the grinder is out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have some lunch and then uh, I think she's ready to pull and see what we forgot. Right, there's something missing. Be just there. She's out. Engine mounts have just come off. Uh, might need to whip the gear. Oh, best whip that gearbox mount off as well, just in case. So, snags up on a few bits and pieces, but uh, nothing. A bit of a bar. I couldn't uh, leave her it around. Some gentle driving. Hence why I got Darren to do it, not me. So, now to look up to that old girl. Bring her down, get her in. Right, so um, we're half in. Um, basically, issues we got the we got a bit of clearance issues there. So, um, and at the minute, we're kind of binding up with the clutch as well. So, at the minute, we've got obviously might have to cut some stuff away and reweld it back in afterwards. We need to move back about an inch or so. Clear that, that pipe's touching and lift it up so that clears. I'm just going to go back another inch or two.
Right, okay, so the other day we uh, got the Cummins in the Land Rover. Um, it's not actually on any mounts yet, it's just being supported by blocks, etc. underneath. Um, we just put it in really so we could sort of make some initial alignments to see how we're going to uh, bolt it up to mount. Uh, they don't line up really very closely with where the original uh, TDI ones are, so I think the best thing we can do is actually chop those ones off the chassis completely. Um, as you can see we're not in line um, and then we'll weld on whatever we're going to use in, in place of them um, which is going to have to be different because of the amounts that we're using <coughs> right we're all sort of in pieces in here um, see we've had to cut a section out of the footwell here just to accommodate the starter um, so we'll have to just weld a little extra patch in there um, which will cover that hole uh, we've got a bit of an interference problem with the air uh, slave cylinder on the clutch over there with a cab mount so I think we have to actually cut that off and move it back the chassis ever so slightly um, and apart from that it's me enough in um, and we have to make some sort of cross member up because the original Land Rover one simply isn't going to